Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this question average of levels in binary tree. Uh, we're going to solve this uh, question uh, using the Q method and let us now look into the question. Look into the question what it is about. So we have this question non empty binary tree which means the binary tree is not empty. It, it will be having something at least like one one value two value three values but not less than one now uh, we have to return the average value of the nodes on each level in the form of array we have to return it in the form of an array so this is an array so in javascript uh, it's very easy to represent an array or at least uh, you may say anything when you compare it to java javascript is very friendly now let us explain the question okay we have this thing over here now let us look what is the level each level okay so this level should be one i hope it is making sense this level is what is this level this is level is two and this level is going to be three okay now what we have here what is the sum sum is 3 right length is 1 the average will be 3 divided by 1 3 am i making sense this is the only value in this level the length is only one only one object and the average is 3 divided by the, 3 divided by length which is 3 okay in the same way let us calculate for this so sum is 9 plus 20 which is what 29 length is 2 because we have two things or uh, two numbers over here 1 and 2 now the average will be 29 divided by 2 so 2 on the 2 2 for the 8.5 14.5 this is the average now what is the sum over here again okay this is it 15 plus 7 is equal to 22 land is 2 and then we have 22 divided by 2 which is 11 okay so this is the average so now we have to return the value in the form of an array which will be like this 3 comma 14.5 comma 11 you can see here the same thing we have to do. so this is the logic how oh, everything is clear the land is 2 sum and all okay uh, now let's start let us start solving this problem if it is clear to you that's okay We'll solve it by Q method. Now again, I'm saying, when we try to represent a Q stack, array, anything else, we always use the same way. Most of the, most of the times in JavaScript, we always use this uh, third bracket, okay, and then confuse this with our what we say in Java. <laughs> so. We, this this thing can have many meanings uh, with respect to what term you are referring to so now let us go with child of q okay what is a child so let us go with the root first what is the root okay root is the starting point so root in this case can be three right three is the starting point and uh, we have the child as nine and twenty 9 and 20 are a child of 3 okay 9 and 20 are a child of 3 similarly 15 and 7 is the child of 20 so 20 can also be the root um yeah it will change with respect to the value or we can say the position of the node so we'll start with the root so it is the root 3 okay now mm, what we can say now let us also calculate the average average will be like this so we have to return an array format so now we are trying to defer it as an array format now now let us go with our sum na, sum of each level zero so it's good to start with zero now while q dot land is 
uh, greater than zero you know we don't have to write this one but it is always greater than zero and we'll explain this why it should be greater than zero i'll explain you so let me first write the code now uh, what am i supposed to do is that i have to okay now let me just go and um, use the for loop so for loop there are many kinds of for loop i was just checking this for loop and we have this the normal iteration i is equal to zero i greater than less than array that length i plus plus four in this is also here here it is here it is we can use any of them uh we can use any of them but we should see which is the which will give no error so i don't think we can use this so this is referring to an object uh, something like the properties key value i believe so let us not go through this i think we can also go through this but i'll go with this one okay for now for off for off is not that bad let let not off uh what is the let lot of q q okay for off in javascript right for off in javascript so here it is for of for, for element of array is giving abc okay that's the way that's good so we're going to use this one now what is going to happen is the sum of the level sum of each level plus is equal to not dot file value the value of the node okay now we are going to check if the node has anything in the left side that is three has anything in the left yes then we are going to do like this uh, we're going to add it in the child queue child of queue and then i'm going to push it uh adding means we have to push it okay not the left and then we are going to do the same thing again not dot right is equal to true then I'm going to do child of q dot push not dot right okay if it is not true then it will be empty so we don't have to worry about it now what I'm going to do is I'm going to now push it in the average so average is what uh, sum by length of the queue right so sum is sum of the level divided by uh, q dot length right now what is going to be the next thing it is like we have to point the q to child q well we have to initialize it to the value of child q and then the child q should become empty in the sum of the level some of each level should also become empty right uh, and then we have to return the average <clears throat> okay i made a mistake in the spelling sorry about that sum of each level okay i made a mistake again so if q dot len is greater than zero okay wait just a minute i'm just checking out why there is a mistake again okay <laughs> okay <laughs> okay so i probably had some uh mistake over here so <laughs> wait uh so it was not passing through this that is why uh the queue was empty so here it has it has to be something like 
if the not of the left is present then uh, then the child should accept push the value so let me just explain here so let us start with a tree okay three is the one where we start with and then q dot land is one right the first value three one and then what is the next one um we have to add now the q is one three right some of the level zero plus three is three so the left is nine and the right is what 20 now we are going to uh, calculate the value 3 divided by 1 3 right 3 is being pushed now the child q is now 9 comma 20 and the uh, child of q becomes empty right some of the level becomes like empty now the second step is 9 comma 20 uh, 9 comma 20 because 9 and comma 20 is the one which have push so here it is i mean it is here only so the length is 2 3 is already removed because we are di directly pointing our q to child of q 9 comma 20 so here we are going to first add the value of 9 okay 9 and then we are going to check if the 9 has any left and right no there is nothing left and right in 9 now let's go to 10 so 10 9 plus 10 is equal to uh, okay 9 plus 20 is equal to 29 20 has left and right it is 15 and 7 so now this will be 15 and 15 comma 7 right because 20 has uh, 20 has left and right 15 comma 7 now what is going to be the value 29 uh, divided by how much is the length which is um, yeah 2 now 1 2 so 29 divided by 2 which is equal to 14.5 okay so the next will be this will become 15 comma wait this will become 15 comma 7 and yeah same thing empty empty now it will be 15 comma 7 right q is 15 comma 7 and then the length is again 2 and then similarly 15 we are going to add 15 uh, right 15 15 is no left and right no left and right empty and 17 17 also has no left and right which is empty now the q is empty empty in both the cases because 15 and 7 don't have both left and right in both the cases so 22 so now we have what 22 divided by what is the length 2 now 2 which is equal to 11 now we have empty now this is already uh, yeah we have already pushed the three values which is ultimately 3 comma 14.5 comma 11 right we have already pushed inside this address now q is empty now q is 0 breaks okay breaks the while loop and then we return the average so this is how we have done okay that's how is this that's how it's done uh, i hope you understood the concept it's an easy problem we can solve it with various methods this is one of the ways uh, I hope you like my uh, uh, way of how I solve this and how I explain it. So if you like it, please like my video and yeah, share and sub uh, subscribe. <laughs> okay, have a nice day. Bye-bye.